So, uh, this was the game uh, I chose for 2019. So now we're going to go for 2020. A year that uh, we probably all remember pretty well. Um, and the game I chose for the year of 2020 is Quest for Glory 1. So, I can't remember the, which class I chose last time, but I'll try and go for a different one. <laughs> so, that's the idea. I think I was a mage? Yeah. So, we'll not go for a mage. I don't know what the other options are. I think it might be warrior and thief or something? I don't know. But yeah, I think we were a mage last time. Or were we a thief? We'll probably go for warrior. And that way we can stab things. So, yeah. Um, that's the plan for that game. And yeah, let's get started. So, I'll set it all up there, and there, that should work, and now I just need to start up the game, if I can find it, there it is. So, there, let's launch the game. And we are going to run the VGA version, I think. So. Right, I need to change my title, since we've switched games again. Wait, is the VGA version the older one or the newer one? I guess EGA would be older. Either way, we're going with this one. It'll be fine. So... When did this game come out? In... Um, let's see. In 89. So VGA is the newer one. Okay. So, there, changing my title. So, yeah, we'll just go for the newer version, because today we're treating ourselves, I guess. Not sure which one I played last time. We'll see. I don't know if this one will have voice acting or not. We'll find out. It has sound, so... I like the graphics. Alright, so... New hero. Maybe we should watch the intro first? Yeah, so there's thief, warrior, or fighter, and magic. Yeah, I think we went for magic last time. Um... So, did I choose thief? I think I did. Cancel. Okay, I can't get back out of this one. I just wanted to see the introduction. Alright, I'll start the game back up again. And we can watch the introduction. Whatever that is. Because I'm not sure if we'll play it if we just start a new game, so... 
Just making sure. And thank you. Introduction. Best for Lori one. So you want to be a hero. Okay. Executive producer and Williams. Bill Davis. Is it just going to give us all the credits? And call that an introduction. Because, I mean, that would be silly. But I guess it's possible. Um, yeah. It's a nice theme. It definitely is. So, yeah. I hope it won't get muted. But I guess I'll find out. But I think this game might just be old enough to not cause any issues. We'll see. But yeah, I think it's just the credits. That's not the introduction. So. Are we going to get to the part where like, it actually introduces us to anyone except the creators? No. Okay. Fine. So, thief. Because I think we went, um, mage last time. Yeah. So, thief it is. Just because, well, I don't think I went thief. I am intrigued. But we'll go for, um, fighting using weapons, not magic. So. Because I know I used magic last time. I think I used both magic and weapons to some extent. But yeah, we'll just go melee. So... Can we put points in health? No, I don't think so. So let's add some points for luck. Um, intelligence? We're probably not going to be dodging much. So, stealth? Lock picking? Um, weapon use? Strength? And more stealth and lock picking. Alright, and how do we name it? We just fight. So, how are we going to call ourselves? I think last time I just went for Spidey, so. Spooter? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this, this game is very pretty. This seems like a quiet little town. On the porch ahead of you are two people. Standing one is large, rather ugly, and playing with a yo-yo. The seated person smoking a pipe looks like he might be the sheriff. Well, the man with the pipe greets you. Welcome to our town. You're lucky to have made it down from the mountains before the snow blocked the pass again. It's gotten pretty dangerous outside of town, I understand. Many monsters have been trapped around here with the late snow. Between them, the brigands, between them and the brigands, we certainly could use a hero around here. I am Sheriff Schultz Meisterson. This is Otto von Goon, my assistant. Good luck in your quest. So. I wonder if the original version has the text commands instead of being a point and click. 
I'm not sure if I tried both versions last time. The window glows from the light inside. The sign reads, Heroes Tale in. Yeah, as with all of these games, um, I might be doing a poll to see which game you guys want me to continue just on a regular stream. Welcome, welcome, traveler, to Heroes Tale in. I'm Shameen, at your service. May you find what you seek here. Frustrating text commands. Yeah, fine. So, this one would probably be the better one to play during a 12-hour stream, then. So, you think better of it. Those claws look sharp. Okay, don't poke the cat. Hello, cat. You see a small cat-like creature known as a catto. You've heard that catters are common in the southern de deserts. Yeah. I've actually been there in later games. Um. So. But I just really like the graphics in this one. I like pixel art. I mean, this isn't even that pixel arty anymore. It's more just, like, trying to paint, but at a low resolution. You can smell apples as you approach this corner. Good day, and welcome to Spielberg. Would you like to buy some of my nice fresh fruits or vegetables? I don't know. Hello. Ask about name. I'm Hilda, daughter of Heinrich. Fine, I'll pronounce the names German. I am Hilde, daughter of Heinrich Pferdefedern, <laughs> or whatever it was. Um, so, ask about father. My father is Heinrich Pferdefedern. <laughs> so, pretty normal first name, horse feathers. Yes. Um, so, ask about farmer. My father is a fine farmer. Ask about farm. We have some land to the north of town. It isn't very big, but we grow many things. You should be here during harvest time. Then you would see many fruits and vegetables. Um, uh, mother? My mother has been dead for three years now. Still miss her. Yes, quest for glory. And... Right, that's that. Date. Thank you, but my father thinks I'm too young. Would not permit it. But perhaps next year. Okay. Um, no we're going for a thief. Who uses melee weapons. Because I think last time I went for a wizard... So, now I'm going for, like, the combination of the two I didn't go for. But, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, thief using melee weapons. This looks like a dry goods store, but it smells like a musty library. The stove feels nice on such a crisp day. Behind the counter... And on the shelves, there are a variety of items for sale. The shopkeeper appears to ignore you while he reads a book. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you coming in. My, you look like an adventurer. We don't see many around here. The brigands tend to get rid of most adventures before they make it into town. I do try to stock some things adventurers can use. I actually would rather be an adventurer than a shopkeeper, you see. My items are pretty ordinary, though. You probably already have most of them, if you've done any adventuring at all. Okay. So, equipment. Unfortunately, I have only standard weapons and equipment. I carry daggers and chain armor. Maybe someday I'll be able to carry magic ones, though. So, how can I check my inventory? Um... Oh, there. Okay. 
So I'll save. Oh, detail. Turning up the detail. And... <laughs> well, of course we maxed out in saves. So we are going to replace this save with one called Quan, because this is the first save of this playthrough. So, let's see. Ask about dagger? Ah, the use of the dagger is a most skillful art. Actually, this particular weapon is longer than most, but still easily concealable. A bargain at 20 silvers. Do we have any silver at all? I don't think so. Maybe we do. Um, we have five rations. Four gold, ten silver. One leather jerkin. One dagger, one lockpick. Okay. We really don't have much. But we'll get there. So, what's in there? A variety of vegetables for sale. And the shopkeeper is a centaur. Yeah. Which is why they're called horse feathers. <laughs> but still, what horse has feathers? So, can I go in there? It was locked. So, what about this place? Right, we've been in here before. Um... Very good food, very good drink, finest in town. Sit, rest. We'll be served by my Shima. I don't think we need anything. Probably not that hungry right now. How do I actually check that? Um what? So glitchy! Something so glitchy! No. Okay. There we go. Um experience, health, stamina, okay. Anything over there? Apparently there is. So, what's going on in here? Anyone home? Hello. I am Zara, and my companion is Diano. Damino. Damiano? Damiano. The items in this shop are designed for those skilled in the use of magic, which we aren't, so not us. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Yummy, nami, nami, no. Good name. So, can I go in there? The door appears to be locked, and there's no answer to your knock. The occupant is out. Right in front of you, in fact. She's really sleeping soundly and doesn't notice your presence. Okay then. I guess I could try and, like, pick that lock. Possibly. I'll save before I try that. Um... I guess I should overwrite these saves first. There. And... Items... Um... Use the lockpick. In broad daylight? You've got to be kidding! You'd be arrested for certain! Guess we're not snaky enough. Then I feel
feel like it was worth a try. You enter the Adventurer's Guild Hall. This Adventurer's Guild Hall reminds you of the one in your hometown. The traditional Moosehead and other stuffed monsters. Saurus, Troll, Griffin, Dragon, Shaitar, and the terrible Antwerp adorn the walls. You see a registration book on the table and the bottom board full of job listings. The man seated near the window must be the guildmaster. He's snoring. So... The guildmaster appears to be hard of hearing. Perhaps we should get closer. Alright. Hello, guildmaster. Please wake up. Oh, what a glorious day it was. I... Oh. Hello there. I am Wolfgang Abenteuer. <laughs> Wolfgang Abenteuer. The guildmaster of this hall. So, Wolfgang Adventurer. Ask about guildmaster. I'm supposed to keep track of all the adventurers and make sure they sign their names on the log. There was a time when I would go out and rescue foolhardy adventurers who got into too much trouble, but I don't get out much now. Uh, okay. So that's all I can ask about, apparently. It's a bit strange. Something else. Ah, fine. Ask about Guildhall. This is where an adventurer can find out who needs someone brave and courageous. Um, there are many jobs on the Bolton board over there. There's also a good place to talk about adventures on a cold afternoon. Well, doesn't that sound cozy? We used to play cards here once a week as well. But there are too few adventures in Spielberg anymore. <laughs> they all died from monsters or brigands. Well, they just got too old. Oh, that's dark. Uh, ask about adventures? Did I ever tell you about the time when Schultz and I rid this village of... Uh, no, this valley of Antwerps? Yeah. We were real adventurers then, and this was... A real guild hall. Now we're just old men, and this is just a place to tell old stories. <laughs> and yes, I'll keep on like reading it like without a super strong German accent, and then just throwing random words in German, as the game does. So, um, monsters. You can see some of the types of monsters that live around here if you look at our walls. There are trolls, griffins, cheaters, uh, manta rays, and goblins wandering in the woods. Hello, and thank you. I hear there are even some ogres and saurus rexes back in this valley. There was a time when Schultz and I had gotten rid of most of the monsters around here, but we're just too old for that now. So, ask about something else. Bolton board. Over on the wall, over there is where the jobs are posted for adventurers. Some have been there a long time now. There just aren't too many good adventurers around here lately. Well. <laughs> Um, there we go. Yes, five years. Depending on, like, w where you're from, the five might not be old enough to start school. Like, for example, um, in my, like, education, I started elementary school at six, I think. Because that's just the average age. So, yeah, I think it was six. Ask about the castle. The castle is just north of the healer's house. The healer? 
The healer is just north of the town gate. She's a nice woman. I thought he would have said, um, the healer is just south of the castle. Because that would have been really helpful. So, ask about reward. You need to talk to either the Baron or the healer about that. Okay. Let's look at the Bolton board. So... Return of Lost Ring, Pirate the Healers. Thank you for the follow. Um, 30 gold coins for the capture or death of the brigand warlock. Description, short, ugly, and wears brightly colored robes. He has, uh, has a habit of laughing continually. Inquire at castle gates. Brigand leader. Um, unknown appearance, wears a cloak. Must provide the leader's identity. Or proof of the leader's identity. Ward of 60 gold coins. Title of Hero of the Realm. Inquire at the castle gates. This poster seems to have been here for a while. It has a picture of a handsome but arrogant young man. How do we know he's an arrogant young man? Reward of 50 gold coins for information leading to the return of Baronet... Baronet... Barnard? I guess is how you say that. Baronet Barnard of Spielberg. Uh, require at Spielberg Castle Gates. This poster is rather dusty and faded. The picture is of a small child with braids. Reward of 50 gold coins for the safe return of Elsa from Spielberg. Inquire at the castle gates. And last one. Spell components needed. Cash or trade for potions. Inquire at the healers. Okay. And he's asleep again. I guess I might as well sign. You sign your name into the adventurer's logbook with a flourish. At least we've got style. Even if we get eaten by like a T Rex as soon as we leave. We've already got a score of eleven. Wow. We are unstoppable. You mean the stuff in my bottle? No, water. Warm water, actually. Which might be a bit strange, considering it's 32 degrees in here. But I'm a weird person. Yeah. Um, there we go. The reason I drink warm water is because otherwise I get a sore throat pretty much immediately. So, but I mean, for those of you who actually drink alcohol, which I don't, so yeah, I couldn't tell you, wouldn't it be a problem if you keep on drinking for like 12 hours straight I don't know the shop seems to be closed although there are some dried up cupcakes in the window there's a sign on the door which says gone fishing hmm. not sure he'll ever come back from fishing if the cupcakes look that dried up Closed. Gone fishing. Okay. I see something on the floor. 
grimy window lets little light into this tavern. It smells like stale ale and other more unpleasant things. The floor is covered with dirt and the bar is sticky with beer. Smoke appears to be rising from the centre cask behind the bar. To your right, two gamblers are playing cards. The bartender glares at you as you enter, and so does the ugly goon on the left. You get the impression that you're not welcome. So, pick up whatever this is. You pick up the note. You smooth out the piece of paper and read... B. He's starting to get suspicious. Hold off on our meetings for a bit, but I'll keep you posted by these notes. B. Okay. Interesting. Let's save again. It's a Sierra game. Because I think there's a way to die in this place. The bartender is ignoring you. Maybe you better first sit down. But yeah, I, I can drink cold beverages, but I'll basically have a sore throat immediately. What do you want? Um, your name. This is a bar, I serve drinks. You want a drink, or order one. You want answers to stupid questions, get out. Okay. Uh, Thieves Guild? Hey, this is an honest establishment. Want me to ask Crusher? Ask him to do what? What? <laughs> Crusher? I don't like his personal affairs discussed. My advice is not to do anything that'll get him upset. Okay. Uh, drinks. Ale, 1 silver. Troll's Sweat, 5 silver. Dragon's Breath, 25 silver. Take a pick. None of the above, please. Um... Something else? Town? What do you think I am, a guide dog or something? Tavern? This is the Aces and Eights Tavern, stranger. Okay, I think that's all I can ask about. Enough already. I'll talk to the gamblers. Also, what's that stuff dripping off the chair? It looks like something you'd expect to see in a tavern, but a little dirtier. Like, not a pleasant sight. There seems to be something slimy spilled on the stool and is eating into the wood. You think perhaps you should sit on the next stool over? <laughs> I mean, as long as his, like, armor and stuff isn't made of wood, he should probably be fine, but probably wouldn't want to risk it either. I mean, maybe it doesn't just eat through wood. So, gamblers, ask about, uh, fish. There's a river to the south by the Flying Falls, which has some good-sized trout. Okay. You got any... 594s? What? Butcher shop? There's not a whole lot of meat in town for the butcher these days. Now if someone would just bring down that stag in the forest... Go fish! Uh, cards? Cards, they have been very, very good to me. Got any 809s? What's your name? I'm Butch Beefmeister the Butcher. Ah. Go fish. Um, enough already. And bakery. 
haven't been able to get any supplies in since the brigands closed off the area. The bakery will reopen as soon as I have some. Go fish. Uh, what's your name? I'm Silas Sarado, the bread maker. Or, uh, the, the baker. Yeah. Silas Sarado. Interesting name. I wonder what came first, the name or... Um... The profession of baker. So. Yes, the cards will tell. So. Uh. What does he say about fish? Mirror Lake to the south has a huge fish, but it's pretty dangerous. Okay. So, south and. South. Yeah. They're sending me to the same one. Oh, is is he standing on a trap door? Maybe that's the way to the Thieves Guild. That would be pretty nice. I don't think I've seen it before. The drunken barber at the end of the bar isn't in any shape to talk, at least not coherently. Okay, so we'll save again before we try and talk to that person guarding the door. There we go. And hello! Talk about the Thieves Guild. What's the password? Don't know? Uh, pick the right password? Um... So, the... Not all of these, the, the German ones, have proper translation. Like, this one is just, like, a general phrase. So... Like... Thank you for the follow. Um... It can mean, like, oh dear, that kind of thing. Um, this one is, yeah, like, you basically have to Google the concept, so. It's like your inner saboteur, that kind of thing. So, yes, wine dog. I'm not sure if, like, it's an actual term in English? I don't know. Could be. I haven't really heard of it in English before. I think it might be more popular in German. Antwerp? Yeah, I don't know. And, like, that's the name of a river, I think? And just gold. Um, and that's currency. And purple saurus. I don't know. So. The river gold? I don't know. Seems to be ignoring you. Okay. Thieves Guild. So it's not that one. As you ask him questions, the goon's eyes darken. Uh oh. Password. Soros? Uh oh, looks like he got Crusher upset. Uh. I think we just died. Or not. Are we live? I think we are. So, how's our health doing after that? Uh, it's lower than it should be. Okay. What's the password? It's none of those. I mean, it makes sense that I can't just guess the password. So... 
how's our character doing? A bit low on health. Uh, yeah, I'll blow the last save. There we go. Restore. Did we already earn that one XP point elsewhere? Yes, we did. Okay, good. Didn't want to lose our only XP point. So, we'll have to figure out what the password to the guild is. Gonna be interesting when we get in there. Because I don't think I've ever seen that part of the game at all. This growy place must be an alley. It feels strange here. Colder than the rest of town. There's some barrels discarded here. A beggar holds out a bowl towards you. Arms, arms for the poor. Can I talk to them? Silver for the poor, gold for the poor. Okay. So... Maybe they can give me information? Thanks. You know, it's really tough trying to make a living begging in this town since the brigands started scaring all the trade away. This used to be such a nice place to live. My advice to you is to take up begging. Uh, not to take up begging. It just doesn't pay. Um, don't go out at night. Okay. Well, I, I wanted the password. So, I think we're going to restore. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I played wizard last time. So, Dry goods is open. Right. That guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you coming in. So. Sheriff. The sheriff and Otto protect this town. The sheriff used to be a real adventure, you know? Used to be. Um. So. What about... Um, adventurers? I always wanted to be an adventurer. I read about them all the time. The book I was just reading is about adventuring. Oh, this book? It's about an adventurer who's trying to become a hero. The title is Quest for Glory, A Hero's Death. Great. So, Brigand, I don't like to talk about other people behind their backs. <laughs> okay. Hilda? Hilda sells fine produce for, uh, for a reasonable price. And that's that. Enough already. So... How do I get out of here? There we go. So... What am I going to do next? Hmm. Have I tried this door before? No response. The lock is of a simple type. Okay. So we should be able to pick that one. At night, probably. So what time is it in game right now? Um does it tell me? Not there. Um there? 
mid-afternoon on day one. It'll be evening eventually. And then we get to try and pick some locks. So we'll save out here just in case. I did choose wizard. Yeah. I thought I did. Thank you for checking. So we are going to replace this save. There we go. The thing is, since you can kind of just, like, make the character your own and just choose whatever you want, it doesn't really matter what you choose at the start, I guess. Breeze is cool, but you feel a shiver deeper than just the cold. You're really on your own now. In a very dangerous place. Thank you for the follow. So. There's a bird up there. The smell, the bright smell of fresh herbs mingles with the aroma of wood smoke as you come up to a hut by the side of the road. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm a retro game streamer, so streaming retro games is kind of what I do. And thank you. You politely knock on the door. After a moment, you hear the inside bolt slide open. A voice from inside says, come on in. Is that the same bird? The fragrances of herbs mingle with some rather unpleasant odours as you step into the healer's house. Lovely day, isn't it? My, you look very healthy for an adventure. You must be new. What can I do for you? I can sell you healing potions if you like. I also buy spell components if you're interested in gathering some for me. Don't mind me. I always have so much to do around here. And thank you. I made a party hat, both for myself and my lovely spider friend. Look. There. So, we have matching party hats. Alright. Gonna talk to her some more? Stop walking around so much. Okay, um... Ask about potions. I make and sell healing potions, power potions, vigor potions, and undead unjoint, whatever that is. So, hmm. yeah. The fun fact: these hats were, uh, well made of recycled cardboard, as in, I recycled it by making these hats. So, yeah. Basically, um, just using a black marker, a ruler, uh, pencils, and, um, yeah. In my case, I also used one of those um, circle, like, stencil thingies, because I already have one. So might as well. It turned out quite well, I'd say. Or at least I like the design. So. Yeah, just in case any of you want to make your own party hat so you can match. Small, small on a prehistoric scale, but still a pterosaur. Okay, it's it's a bird, I think, but sure. 
Um, so... I'm not sure why Zero isn't a thing anymore. Oh, by the way, if you have to find a ring on your adventures, I lost my favourite gold ring. I'll give you a reward. I, I will give a reward to the one who returns it. Uh, the annoying sound is the bird. Yeah. Unless you mean my voice, in which case. Well. This is my look of, dis of disapproval. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. The old games are still very much playable. And you can even get them on GOG and Steam. So. so. Ask about... Name? My name is Carl. <laughs> Hello, Carl. Ask about castle. This is the castle of Baron Stefan von Spielberg. Okay. Ask about job. Stable people could use a strong young person to help clean out the stables. It does not pay much, but it is good, honest work. If you would like to take the job, come on in. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, it would have been interesting to see what sort of game Sierra would be making nowadays, but yeah, I don't know. The character portraits are done with clay models, really. Interesting. Anyway, thank you for the follow. So, ask about the Baron. My lord sees no one since the loss of his son and doctor. Okay. I mean, it does kind of look like they were made with clay, but it looks kind of cartoony to me, so. Don't know. Digitized clay models. Okay. Alright. Um, loss. Ten years ago. The Baron's daughter, Elsa, was stolen away by magic. Five years back, the Baron at Barnard from Spielberg went on a hunt from which he did not return. This was all clearly part of Baba Yaga's curse. Uh, Elsa? As von Spielberg was a lovely young child with braided blonde hair and bright blue eyes like her mother, the Baroness, used to have. A large winged creature flew over the castle walls, grabbed Elsa, and vanished before the guards could fire upon it. We searched everywhere for her, but to no avail. Thank you for the follow. Even the Jester Yorick joined the search for her. Okay. The Baron sent a troop of guards to storm Baba Yaga's hut, but I think their skulls sit atop her fence. Elsa von Spielberg would be about 18 now. And... The hut? Baba Yaga um, has her hut to the northwest. It's a very dangerous place and many baronial guards have been lost there. Well. And thank you. Yeah, it's... It's been a lot of streams over the last five years. But yeah, I'm... I'm glad to still be on here, still streaming. So, yeah. I'd say it was a pretty good choice I made five years ago. Um, a new game? I think I heard of them making a game, but I hadn't really look looked into it. So, yeah. Of course, there's also a new Monkey Island game coming out eventually. So that'll be interesting to see. So ask about the Baroness. The Baroness died soon after the birth of her daughter. The Baron still mourns her. Okay. Um, this anniversary stream is 12 hours. So yeah, we're gonna keep going for another 
are five hours from this point on. So, yeah. That's the plan. I have done a 24 hour stream before, but that was years ago. So, I mean, I can like, go a bit more into that. I did the 24 hour stream, I think it was uh, to celebrate reaching 50 followers or 100 followers. Somewhere around there. Um, basically, I was just like looking for an excuse to do one. And um, yeah, I did it. I did manage to do the full 24 hours. I was pretty tired around like the 4 a.m. mark of the 24 hour stream. I think I started it in the morning. So yeah, ended it the next morning. Um, yeah, there's that. It went quite well. Of course, didn't have a big audience back then, because I had only just started streaming back then. Um, did I have someone to chat to? Well, I don't think anyone st stuck around for the entire stream, but people were just going and going throughout the stream. So, it was still quite cosy. But, yeah. Of course, like, um, if you have a bigger community or, like, just very dedicated viewers who are willing to stick around for that much time, or for that long, um, it's nice to have the company. I think there were times during that stream that I was basically on my own, so there is that. Um, but it was still a fun stream. I played a lot of games that stream, and yeah, like it teaches you a lot about yourself as a streamer. But that doesn't mean like every streamer should do a twenty-four-hour stream. It's a bit much. But like, if you feel up to it, it'll probably be a learning experience. And obviously, be safe if you're trying that. Yeah, exactly. I tried it once. So, um, I actually didn't use caffeine or energy drinks at all. So, yeah. Basically, I um, just made sure to eat well, stay hydrated, and made sure to get plenty of sleep before the stream and after the stream, eventually. So... That's how I stayed up for that long. And by switching games frequently enough that like my brain wouldn't just get bored with them. So, yeah. I can't remember what game I played at the end. Some of the games I played were um, Skyrim. Um, I think I played some City Skylines. I think I played some Minecraft. Some Civilization V. I think a bit of Portal. Not sure if I played anything else. Yeah, basically just switching games and just taking care of yourself. And yeah. <laughs> Staying up for 50 hours. I, I'm not sure I've ever done that before. I think I've stayed up for close to two days at some point, but that wasn't on stream. Doing that on stream is like an entire new level of tired afterwards. So, ask about, uh, Bawiaga? This powerful ogress is the cause of all the Baron's misfortune. She's a vile creature who knows much magic. Alright, so, just a minute while I raise the gate. Okay. But yeah, I might one day do another 24 hour stream i don't know i like don't have a specific one planned but i don't think i'll be doing that anytime soon like maybe if i have like a proper dedicated streaming room that doesn't reach temperatures of like 32 degrees in summer maybe at that point i'll at some point, do a 24-hour stream for my anniversary. But, um, yeah. I mean, sure, it's, like, 
it's not a healthy thing to do, but as long as you don't like, keep on doing that all the time, I don't think it has any long-term effects. So, I think it should be fine. Yeah, 12 hours is plenty. I know. But yeah, as long as you're like fairly healthy and like aware of like how to take care of yourself and you don't keep on doing that, I think it should be fine, but I am not a medical professional. I'm just saying I'm willing to consider doing one again. Like probably would be in summer. And yeah, it would have to be like in a situation where I'm like in a room that is at a normal temperature, not 32 degrees. So like even just existing at 32 degrees is kind of exhausting. Well, indoor temperature of 32 degrees. I have an easier time tolerating it outdoors, but like there's wind and stuff like that. So it's different. Also, 32 degrees Celsius. In case any of you were wondering. Um, ask about... Bold Spot. <laughs> Jazz, very proud of his moustache, but don't mention his Bold Spot. Okay. Why was that a dialogue option right at the start? That's just weird. So, ask about name. My name is Pierre. Okay. Um, ask about castle. That's the castle of Baron Stefan von Spielberg. And this guy's name is Frederick. Okay. They actually have different names. So, um, Thank you for the follow. <clears throat> I mean, the thing is, like, as long as your computer isn't reaching temperatures that it shouldn't, it should probably be fine. Um, yeah. But as far as I know, 32 degrees on its own isn't going to ruin your computer. As long as you've got proper cooling. Like, I don't think there are any parts that are going to overheat if they only reach 32 degrees. Of course, like, they still give off additional heat and you need to cool them and all that fun stuff. But, yeah, I think it should be fine. So, um... Can I go in there? Doors are securely locked and barred from the inside. Yay. Um, hmm. Ask about daughter. Baron's daughter has been gone for years. Ask about barracks. The barracks are off to my right, but I have no business going there. Okay. I think we should be able to earn some money by working in the stables. I mean, we can try it. You looking for some work? Yes. Good. Come in here and take a rake. Okay. Well, I didn't pay you to rest. No, I don't pay you to rest. Get to work now. Well, he's strict. And it's night time. You're getting tired. Can't imagine why. Okay, come on over here. Stableman hands you some coins and says, Now you're five silvers richer. 
Great. Can I work again? Or is it too soon? Hmm. But yeah, I also like the music. Especially combined with the animations, it's kind of funny. So, work. The work is simple. Just grab a rake and clean this place up. Do I have a rake in my inventory now? Nope. I guess I might have to leave this screen and come back to be able to do it again. So. Yes, it's party time! <laughs> And, yes, it is my five-year anniversary. Um, yeah. I am very glad to be here. So, um, other than my 24-hour stream, I've, like, <laughs> there are plenty of different, like, experiences or had like I've done several 12 hour streams at this point I'm not sure how many exactly though apparently we're not allowed to leave at night okay um does that mean we're just stuck here I guess we might have to wait so nope Hmm. Yeah, gates are closed. So, can I open these gates? The doors are securely locked and barred. Yeah. Um, so, like, if you guys have any specific questions about, like, my history as a streamer, then let me know. Or just in general. Because, I mean, yeah, there's plenty to talk about, so I don't really know where to start. Because five years, it's a long time. So... Nope, can't go over there. Not sure where the barracks are. Doodle time, sure. Do you have a specific quest for doodle time? A spider and a party hat, sure. <laughs> we can add it to the spider we drew earlier. The spider we already drew is one that has, uh, well, very fluffy hair. So. I'll see if I can pause the game. Somehow. There we go. That should do it. And I'll save just to be safe. Alright. So. A spider and a party hat. Coming right up. So. Here's the spider we drew earlier. And let's add brown spider with a, let's make it a blue party hat. Or blue and purple? Blue and purple. This one color is not enough, so. We'll start out with a party hat. I'll make the tip of the party hat purple. Then... Blue. Not sure how well you'll be able to tell the colors apart, but you know it's there. So that's what matters. Purple and blue again, kind of. There. 
Um, so. Might look like a wizard's hat, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Eyes for a spider. And fangs. Petty pelps. And legs. There we go. And the body in the background. There we go. A spider wearing a party hat. And back to the game. I'll take a picture of it to post on the Discord later. Since we like to archive all the doodles on there. So. You're back again. Welcome back. We're playing Quest for Glory 1, so... Yeah. There's adventuring going on. Um... A story leading to the spider theme. I like spiders. Pretty much as simple as that. Um... Yeah, so basically... I came up with my username... A while ago. And... Yeah, it's based on the fact that I've always been fascinated with spiders, just in general. And, um, yeah, like, I like learning about spiders, I like watching spiders, I like, like taking pictures of spiders. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. So, for example, if you check my um, Instagram, you'll see two pictures of spiders currently. <laughs> because, yeah. Of course, I was going to post pictures of spiders. Um, so... I don't get what you mean. What are driders? Is it a typo joke? I'm not sure. <laughs> but yes, I have taken in uh, spiders before that were in, um, well, locations where they shouldn't be. So. Um, center of spiders. Okay. Not quite sure how that works, but okay. I mean, like on a spider, basically the front part, which is also the part that has the head, is the part that has the legs. So it would be a centaur, but like with legs coming out of its head? How would that work? How is that different from a normal spider? Or I guess it's a spider with. Well, <laughs> a center about a spider. Well, um, so how much you and glue to the face of a spider? Well, <laughs> it sounds a bit gruesome when you put it like that, <laughs> but probably accurate because that is what it sounds like. So, um, let's see. I think I'll just rest in here to pass the time, if I can do that. Sleep all night. Uh, you barely get to sleep when you hear the guards searching the castle grounds for bums. You decide it's time to make like a tree leave. The gates are closed for the night. I know. How am I going to leave? That's my problem, I'm locked in. So, why did they lock me in? 
I was busy working. Am I allowed to sleep, like, in the stables? Uh, do I just have to wait out here forever and ever and ever? Is that how this is gonna be? Oh, maybe I can work more. Now the guy's gone. No. Oh, just walking back outside again. So, yeah, I'll try and sleep here. Sleep all night. Hey you, it's bad enough you hang around here all day, but I'm not going to let you sleep here before you've worked enough to earn it. Fine. So, where am I allowed to sleep? Can I use that ladder? see a window. I feel like I should be able to reach that because there's a ladder right next to it. So, um, I also feel that, well, my username kind of represents me pretty well. Because, um, well, a lot of people tend to dislike me just based on first impressions and that's also the way lots of people feel about spiders <laughs> so and uh can i leave nope nope the doors are still closed um <laughs> you just like me so much you had to become my friend see perfect example but yeah um overall it is definitely an experience i've had so that people just don't like me based on first impressions but it happens and yeah that's life so where am i supposed to hide here um I think I'm going to need a hint for what to do when you're stuck in the castle at night. <laughs> so... Like, if any of you know, like, yeah, I, I have no clue what I'm supposed to do at this point. Because I can't seem to work at night. I can't seem to sleep in here. I can't leave. So, what am I supposed to do? They just lock me in here to keep me awake all night? And I can't seem to find the barracks. So. Um, the question about point and clicks, no, I have not answered it yet. Um, yeah, so, it's been nice to get back to point and clicks. I've been playing, well, lots of different ones because of anniversary month. So, I've been replaying them. Climbing over the gate. How do I do that? Oh, maybe I can sneak out? I don't know. No, the gates are closed. Um, yeah. So, it's been nice to play point and clicks again. Since that's how I've spent a significant number of the hours I've spent streaming overall. Um, like, I'm not sure, like, percentage-wise how much it would be, but my guess would be, like, at least 25% of my channel's existence being point-and-click games. Possibly more. Um, might even be, like, 30-40%. So... Yeah, I've played a lot of point-and-click games. And yeah, it's nice to play them again. I... I recognize some of the uh, types of puzzles at this point. So... It makes it easier to solve some certain puzzles. Um, yeah. The first stream you found that wasn't really loud trying to get viewers. Yeah, well, <laughs> the thing is, I, I honestly just stream because I enjoy it. 
Like, I don't have some big goal in mind. I'm just here to stream and have fun. So maybe that's like something that plays into how I run my channel and like how relaxed I am with it. <laughs> I'm not very strategic with it, I can tell you that. So let's see. <laughs> yeah, world domination is always my goal. <laughs> But if we don't talk about that part. <laughs> yes, you've been complaining for a long time that my volume is too low. The thing is, <laughs> at a certain point, you're just maxing out the volume in OBS. So, like, it just feels like that's not the thing to do. <laughs> to, like, have OBS basically shout at me for being too loud. So, yeah. And no, I've, I've still got plenty of floof. It's just too warm to not have my hair braided right now. The temperature is going down a tiny bit. It is now only 32 degrees instead of 32.4 or whatever it was. So, who knows, maybe we'll managed to get the temperature down to 31 before the end of the stream. Wouldn't that be great? So... Yeah, I still don't know how to get out of here, so I'll just restore save. This one. Alright. Fine. We just won't be able to work. Can I just sleep... In town. Would anyone mind? Guess I'll find out. So. But I mean, um, like, not to put down people who are trying to stream for a living. Like, that whole idea is so incredibly daunting to me that yeah i i don't think i could manage that <laughs> so yeah um sleep all night can't sleep during the daytime fine what if i uh sleep for an hour I feel better okay and what time is it sunset approaches all right so hmm oh okay fine so you would have to work first and then sleep there ah that makes sense. I guess I can go back to that save then. Possibly? No, no, no. Either I didn't save at the right time or it resets that. So. Well, too bad. So. You're still alive. Well, ah, good. Is that like a surprise or something? Like, was there something going on that I don't know about? <laughs> Either way, good to hear. Yeah, it, it is quite picky that you can't like leave the screen and then come back. A thousand calories. Of food or of exercise. Um, so, I still don't know how to join the Thieves Guild, but maybe we'll figure it out. I have no clue how to do it though. So, we'll try and rest again. 
sleep. And... A thousand calories burnt. Wow. That's a bunch. <laughs> you go to the gym to eat a thousand calories. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are gyms that have, like, restaurants next to them. So... There's that. And you can have a snack before going to the gym. And then, like, exercise. So, <laughs> you eat and scout the people on the treadmills. Sounds like a fun hobby. So, sleep all night. You curl up on the hard ground and try to get some rest. Ah. I actually didn't want to sleep all night. Um, can I, like... Stop sleeping. No. No sleep. Fine. It's daytime again. Um, so, we'll restore yet again. Because I want to try and lockpick at night. So, let's try that. Um, so, heading over here. So, um, we are going to rest for 60 minutes, and then rest for another 60 minutes, and then probably rest for another 60 minutes. How does that sound? Um, there. 60 minutes. Okay. The menu in this game is a bit silly. Basically, you can't use the mouse in that part of the game for some reason. So, you're too impatient to rest right now. Fine. So, hmm. There is a restaurant at the gym. Or at a gym, you know. Well, there you go. I guess I've proven that you can, like, go to the gym to eat. And I mean, like, it's important to eat even when you're working out, so... Wouldn't want to, like, end up with low blood sugar or something. Granted, I'm not sure, like, how easy that is to achieve. Without, like, underlying medical issues. But, I don't know. So. Um. If this is the town water supply, no wonder nobody ever comes here. Yeah, seems like it. But I don't think that's the main reason. But yeah, personally, I kind of need to eat before exercising, not after. But it might just be me. So, can I rest here, now that I've walked off screen, or, like, okay, I did manage to sleep some more, and another 60 minutes, and is it going to be dark? Oh no, did I? Did I click sleep through the night again? I think I did. Okay, fine. I'll just go from here. But... I'll have to spend so much time sleeping for an hour. Fine, I'll restore the save again. But this time don't let me misclick. <laughs> So... We can do this. 
I'll sleep here. Seems like a comfy spot. Okay. And another 60 minutes. Too impatient. Fine. We'll walk to the next screen and hopefully... Um, this city skyline, I didn't model it after a specific city, so I don't know if it looks like Toronto. <laughs> um, yeah, I just drew it because I felt like drawing a city skyline. So. Like, there's a bunch of different shapes, and if they look like any specific buildings, then, uh, great. But yeah, I didn't even look up reference pictures or anything, so. But who knows, maybe there's a specific city that looks exactly like that. It is, like, theoretically possible. Okay, so they've left. Can I sleep again now? Am I still too impatient? Too impatient. Fine. So, hmm. Oh, who are you? And are you sleeping on the table? Take a seat at the table nearest the fire. Oh. Oh, it is indeed sad and dangerous times we live in when a man who struggles daily to keep from starving, should be robbed of all his earthly possessions. Okay. I am Shima. Allow me to serve you, wanderer from afar. Do you wish food or drink? I don't know. Um... Um, food? We have a very good stew of newborn lamb along with honey chicken for a mere three silvers. Coffee is included in the price of the meal. And what's to drink? We have rich black coffee, freshly ground and brewed, as only my people do. Such coffee will bring you to your full alertness. It is but a silver. Okay. Um, so... Do we want coffee? I feel like that would make us more impatient. Yeah, isn't coffee bad for cats? I guess they only have it to serve it to people. Maybe I'm mistaking it for... Thank you for the sub. And yeah, thank you for uh, congratulating me. <laughs> um, which is a very strange sentence, but either way, thanks. Um, but yeah, five years. I know. It's a lot of years. And yes, the price of food, uh, but we got paid five silvers, the food costs three, and the coffee costs one. So if I drink five coffees, then uh, basically I'll like lose all the money I made that day. <laughs> so, hmm. I'm pretty sure there are people out there who drink five coffees a day, right? And that's like not even including the like, food, a place to stay. Coffee or caffeine is toxic to cats and dogs. Yeah, well. Um Yeah, new child point redeems are going to be a thing. New games, old games, um channel art evolves over time. Eventually, like more 
content on um, YouTube. Currently it's just the VODs. I'm still working on my TwitchCon video. And I'll probably also do a video like as like a recap for my five years of streaming. Um, yeah. And other than that, like, yeah, there's still plenty of other stuff, but it's a long list of projects, as usual, and, uh, yeah, vlogs could technically happen, but there's not much going on that I could vlog about, so the TwitchCon video will be more just, like, me talking about TwitchCon, less being there and, like, pointing at things. But that's also because I like didn't want to spend all my time at TwitchCon just filming myself standing in places and going, look, I'm a TwitchCon. <laughs> so, yes, I'm still also making new bit emotes and animated emotes. Still haven't finished all of those. Yeah, plenty of things I still need to do. As I was saying, I, I don't have the best strategies when running my channel, but I'm aware of it. <laughs> I'm doing this for fun, so there's that. Um, so ask about the robbery. Two weeks ago, I was going to be wealthy beyond what you could dream of. I absolutely do would be the first merchant into this valley this year, but my life was shattered by brigands. <laughs> Strategy, Stratagoof. Sounds good. I'd say my strategy is more like organized chaos. So, ask about wealth. I had treasures carefully brought from Shapir with me. I even had a magic carpet with me. And, uh, brigands? The band of brigands ambushed us just as we crossed the path, no, the pass into the valley. There are about 12 brigands, including a huge minotaur. Well, yeah. yeah, true, they didn't steal his fancy hat or the gem that's attached to it. It was also a leader, some sort of wizard. They first used some sort of magic which blinded us, or blinded us. No. Um, then they overwhelmed my six guards and my assistants. That's intense. How many assistants did he have? All my trades got taken from me, no, no, taken from before me. I'm now but a beggar. Living off the generosity of my friends. And... Hmm. Yeah, the brigands also didn't steal my fancy hat. <laughs> Which, yeah, I mean, they probably weren't interested in it because it's made of cardboard, but still. It is a fancy hat. I like my hat. I worked hard on my hat. Friends. Even though they too lost a fortune when the brigands stole from me, Shemin and Shima are caring for this frail shadow of a great man. Well, that's nice of them, I guess. Um, uh, Shapir? Ah, Shapir, beautiful land of golden sand and shining sun. Or golden sands. The heart of civilization. Alas, she's plagued with fierce jinn and efreets who seek to drive all men and katas from the land. But I can speak no more of the homeland I shall never see again. Instead, I will die in this cold, forsaken land bereft of all I love. Well, very optimistic, I see. Um, 
So, merchant. I trade the treasures from one land for that of another. But the brigands have stolen every treasure I had, and now I'm a merchant no more. Okay. Hmm. So... What can I ask? It is Shemaine who is the speaker for the house, for I have much work to do to serve you. If you wish to know more about such things, you should speak to him. Okay. Like, is that her phone ringing? It's just always ringing whenever she's around. I just thought it was funny that like whenever she's walking, there's a song that goes with it. But otherwise, it's quiet. So... Let's see. Can I leave? Is that a possibility? Or did they lock me in here in hopes of having me pay for a room? Um... There we go. It is my time. Finally. So that would mean that we should be able to try and lockpick. I should save. Um, we'll replace that save, since it's kind of useless. Um, there should be a hat redeem. Well, I don't really have a lot of hats, so I'd have to make all the hats myself, but I could make a bunch of hats and then have a hat redeem. But I mainly make, well, hats of, made of paper, so... Yeah. Um, so... The door is locked. And what time is it in game? It is... The night is still young on day one. Okay, so... Picking locks looked a lot easier in the instruction book. Okay. So, there! You hear a snick! The lock is open! Nice. We did it. The people who, this uh, who own this house must have some money. Everything looks new. There's not a speck of dust visible. The room smells vaguely of sauerkraut and bratwurst. <laughs> sauerkraut and bratwurst with just a faint odour of smoke from pine wood. From somewhere in the house, you can hear someone snoring. So, what's that? And can I take it? Gently and stealthily, you lift the lid on the little box. As the little music box begins to play, you hear the sheriff yell out, Otto, stop playing with that music box and go to bed. Boy, did you make a mistake. Well. Uh. Otto, even in his sleepy state, winds the music box and closes the lid before he heads back to bed. That was close. The goon must have been so dumb or sleepy or both that you didn't even see you standing there. Okay. So, can we take the vase? Um, you take the vase carefully from the mantle and place it gently on the floor. But why? You place the vase carefully in your pack beneath your cape. Okay. By lifting the painting, you can see what certainly must be a safe hidden in the wall. Well, can I steal this thing? The candle holder thing? Um, you place it in your pack beneath your cape. Nice. And anything in there? 
assortment of mostly worthless objects, but you find three silver silvers which you take. Yes, I do a lot of looting. <laughs> Indeed I do. So we are going to switch to sneaking now. Since we're busy like stealing stuff, so. Might as well own it. There we go. And can I lockpick the safe? Doesn't work. Looks very sturdy indeed. Cracking saves look... Cracking safes look a lot easier in the instruction book. Okay. So I just need to keep on trying and we're dead. Criminal carelessness. Now you've done it. It's hard to be a hero when you're locked up for breaking and entering. Or entering and breaking, as the case may be. Be a little more intelligent and a lot quieter if you ever try something like this again. Okay. We'll restore the save. And this time we won't be interacting with the music box. So... Let's try that again. And yes, we're robbing the sheriff. <laughs> As you do. Well, we'll get there. There we go. And we'll switch to sneaking. So. Sneak. And overwrite oh, that save. Making the vase. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get into the safe, but we'll see. Might as well save again. Before we try and break open the safe. Nope. Nope. Okay. So, three failed tries and you end up getting caught. Alright. Um. Okay, we, we can't take the tree. Even though it's a valuable 50-year-old Sego palm, it's much too big to fit in your pack. Can I like, do something with it? No. But I talked to it. An overgrown bonsai. I'll just leave it, I guess. It's overgrown, so might as well leave it. Thank you. But yeah. Five years. <sighs> you faintly hear snoring. Behind that door? Snoring. Hmm. Why is there snoring in both rooms? Uh oh. As you see a pillow flying towards you, you hear the sheriff's wife say, Screech! That's not a word. Well, I'm guessing she's screeching, not screeching the word screech. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, you never dreamed a feather pillow could be so hard. Oh, was that the floor? You also didn't realize how hard it is for a thief to be a hero. A thief of a uh, Baghdad never had this kind of look. Okay. So, what else can I do in here? Cold, dark eyes of the griffin make you feel a bit uncomfortable, especially since it's about 10 minutes, uh, 10 times. It's about 10 times larger than any griffin you've ever heard of. Speaking of 10 minutes, around 10 minutes to go in this game. And then we're switching to the next one. Um, 
So, you don't know much about art, but you know what you like, and this is not it. Okay. What's that? Um, the room is dark and still. The candelabra looks like it's made of gold. The vase on the mantel might be worth taking. There's an old little box on the table. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I can't take that, even if I'm sneaking. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. He's carrying around a teddy, I think. But yeah, we'll restore just to be safe. And then leave. So. Back to walking like a normal person. Hopefully. No? There you go. And I'll save again. So yeah, we stole from the sheriff. We did it. And we didn't even get caught. All right, next area. There's something glowing. Hmm. You've been lurking since, um, Tuban Hospital. Well, that's a while ago. Thank you. And, yeah. I hope you're having a lovely day, or night. This place seems sinister at night. Some strange object is glowing at the other end of the alley. Yeah, it does seem sinister, doesn't it? No? That coin light spell gets them every time. See that dagger? The next one is centered on your back. Give Snake though your cash and you walk out of here. It's a simple trade. Your life or your money. Gonna talk to them. My finger is starting to get a bit twitchy, so forget about questions, just pay the man and get out of life. No. I wanna have a chat. Can I pick up the dagger? No. What if I just leave? What if I attack them first? Um. Not sure we're wearing the armor. So. Despite your intentions, you feel a calmness and sense of peace descend upon you as you even consider thoughts of violence. What? Okay. Um, yes, I am playing Quest for Glory, but, well. Thank you for the follow. Um, I, like, this is towards the end of the Quest for Glory part of the stream. But, of course, you can eventually, like, go back and watch the mod, and, um, you can also watch me do a full playthrough of the entire Quest for Glory series. Um, uh, yeah. So, because I already did that in, well, I think it was mostly 2020. And, um, yeah, you can watch it on YouTube. So, yeah. You can also watch it on Twitch. We are going to restore the save. But yeah, today we are celebrating my channel's five year anniversary. Which is why I'm revisiting some games I've played in the past. And yeah, I mean, basically this game and the next two games that we'll be playing are ones that I've got mods for. The previous games, so um, Grim Fandango, 
Two Point Hospital and Life is Strange are ones where I did not keep the VODs yet, so. Yeah. But there is another Sierra game coming up. So. Let's see. Nobody out at night. This place is still open. Weird. Also, where does this lead? Because that looks like the view you have for like a plane when you're flying over the clouds. So is that a magic mirror or a portal? It looks like a door. There we we didn't manage to get into the thieves' gold, but we did get to like actually like, steal some stuff. So, so you return to my shop. Ask me what you will, but keep it to the point. Okay. Um, ask about magic. If you have the skill of magic, you can learn the way to cast spells by reading magical scrolls. Without the skill, you have no power. The more you practice spell casting, the greater you shall become. Uh yeah. We won't be doing that since we have no points in magic, so we can't do that. But I do like the sound effect of her disappearing. So, apparently we're getting tired. Well, I guess we did manage to steal some stuff, so might as well sleep. For the rest of the night. There we go. We could die by lack of sleep. Interesting. So we didn't want to sleep here? Okay. There we go. For some reason it didn't work the first time. And it's daytime. Nice how that works. So... Let's see. I can talk to them, I guess. See if they know about getting robbed. I guess they don't. And I guess I can sell their stuff. I should probably save first, just in case. I mean, maybe the shopkeeper knows that, that stuff was stolen. And then reports me. That would just be mean. So. Um. Equipment. And. Wait, can I not sell stuff to him? I guess not. <laughs> oh, maybe I can sell stuff by using the item on him. Doesn't work. Okay. Guess not. That would make a pretty silly looking hat. I guess it would. Are we wearing the armor? The leather armor makes you think kinky thoughts, and you wa wondered why adventurers dress up this way. Alright then. Anyway, 
that's going to be it for this game, at least for today. As I mentioned, there will be a poll um, for like all six of the games I'm playing today. And uh, yeah, I'll post it on like Twitter and Discord probably. And um, yeah, so if there's a specific game you guys want me to continue playing, then yeah, we'll see. And I'll probably also have an option for, like, just don't replay any of them. <laughs> but, well, we'll see. Anyway, that's that for this game. We have our save. And we are back over here. So, plan is I'll um, go get a slice of cake. Um, might even show off the full cake, but, like, it'll be pre-sliced. So. Um, yeah. So I'll be taking a five-minute break, dealing with the cake, and then most likely eating the cake while playing the next game. And the next game is going to be Laura Bow. So, Colonel's Quest. So, yeah. The first Laura Bow game. Um, yeah, so that's coming up, and yeah, you can enjoy the, uh, altered starting soon screen in the meantime, because I still don't have the proper BRB screen that, like, I want to make, but, uh, yeah, it's been a busy couple of months, so <laughs> haven't gotten around to all the things I wanted to make. Anyway. See you guys in five minutes with cake. And you can like, look up the picture of the cake if you check out my uh, Twitter, which... Um, there you go. And uh, yeah, I might be like doing like an ad, an ad break. That way we can disable pre-rolls. Basically, you won't miss anything, so... Yeah. I'll just be off to get some cake. So, see you guys in five minutes.